Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we have some college clothing essentials. I'm super excited to film this. Every time I go onto campus, I just see all the freshmen moving in. It's so sweet. It brings me back to the undergrad days. And I just miss my dad because he moved me in. It was really funny because he's just all over the place. I'm first gen in America, so like my parents were going through it with us. It was just sweet. It was a sweet little moment of absolute chaos. Today I just want to talk to you guys about what to bring to college. I definitely was such a different person back then. My wardrobe options were not that great. That being said, knowing my college experience and knowing what I wear now, like I know what I wish I had with me. Also, someone commented that they wanted like a girl talk, college life sort of video. If you have any questions slash would be interested in this, I'm gonna leave a pinned comment below so you can write down all your questions, anything that you're curious about. Ask literally anything. I'm quite an unfiltered open book. I will give you the answers and the tea. Going out tops is very important and I wanted to start with this because there's no way you're not gonna be going out when you're in college. If you go to a school that's somewhere colder, I feel like it's a lot harder for you to dress for this. I went to school in the University of Pittsburgh. In the winters, this holes don't get cold mentality does not fly. I wanted to put in some ideas of tops that you could be wearing if you're going out and it's still cold. Like you wanna be weather appropriate. I think mock halter tops are really cute. They keep you warm, but not too warm because once you get into the party, like obviously it gets a little strong sweaty so you can take off like whatever jacket you're wearing on top that is my number one suggestion for colder weather going out tops or if you want to show a little bit more of your chest make sure you have some nice jackets to go over it i will be talking about what jackets i think you need to bring that will be super useful and you'll wear all the time in college another thing that's really great are like velvet tops honestly pittsburgh a lot of people were just out there freezing their asses off. There are so many cute like long sleeve options that are a little bit more street style that will look so great at parties. I will tell you this, it gets expensive to just be Ubering everywhere. You're gonna be walking a lot and if you're walking, make sure you get some clothes on. Another thing about going out tops that you should keep in mind, you can always borrow from your roommates and your friends. I borrowed so much from my roommates. It's great because we got to just like switch it up a bit. Other tops I think are super crucial are some cute cardigan. Super simple and it doesn't look like a sweatshirt so if you wanna dress it up a little bit, a nice little button up cardigan over like a little high neck tank top. Cardigan, this little crop, with some trousers. There's so many options you can do with the cardigans. I wish I like understood how to wear cardigans in a cute way. Obviously you're gonna need a ton of basics. It's just so easy to put together stuff when you have basics. I'm gonna be linking below a bunch of items that I think you should grab like in all of these categories just so you can check them out. And they're not gonna be like super expensive or anything, they're just so that you can supplement your wardrobe better. I also wanna emphasize tops like these. This is just a skims. It's just great for like going to the library to study, going to class and stuff like that. And I love a good crop t-shirt, like I don't know why. Since I showed you this top, I didn't wanna put on pasties yet so I could show you the pasties that I have. They're both from Amazon. This set comes with two pairs. The edges are super thin, it's seamless. You can't even see it. I wore pasties all the time in college and they were lifesavers. I feel like if you're going to class a lot or if you're like meeting with professors, you don't really want to have them out. The other nipple covers that I have are Go Nippless and these are also for Amazon. I just like that it comes in a nice little case. They're literally the same as the ones I'm wearing right now. Thinness and everything, it's just that this one only comes with a pack of two, one pair. Either of these are perfect and you can just reuse them, make sure you keep the plastic so you can just you can also wash them because it, it will get sweaty. Another top or style of top, I guess, that you really want to have are bralettes. I have a million bralettes. I wear them all the time. This one from Boohoo. This is from Urban. I'm, there's so many more in my closet. And then I just got two pairs from Urban. Recently, these are like kind of thin, but with the nipple covers, it'd be perfect. Bralettes are so versatile and you can wear it with any outfit. And it's just easy to put on, super comfortable. It could be part of your outfit or just like that's your bra. I'm telling you, girl, you do not want to be wearing wired bras in college. I'm just make sure it's comfy. You'll realize when you get to college, you are lazy and everything hurt. I think bralettes are great for outfit wise and for actual bra usage. Make sure you have a nice button up, one that's like fitted and good for like formal events or more professional events, and also one that's just like a great cover up. I wore button ups all the time as my little cover up. It was loose, it was cute, it was like kind of relaxed, but still styling. Moving on to pants, you need trousers. You need so many trousers. Pulling out my favorite, one of my favorites, my favorite pair of trousers. This is from Princess Polly. It's the Archer pant. This goes with so much. I wear it all the time in my outfit videos. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. Definitely need to bring trousers to college. Not only is it great for outfits, it's also so comfortable. Like if you don't want to be wearing sweats, put on some trousers, they're loose. 
they're airy and when you sit down for a bunch of classes in the day like you're not uncomfortable at all again i'll link below all of the trousers that i wear a lot you can create so many outfits from a good pair of trousers definitely an essential pant for college that being said if you do like sweats i wear sweats all the time i think i gathered most of my sweats collection in college because i was like you know what i need more sweats because i just wore these sweats now they're in the laundry and i kind of don't want to do laundry but also because you just need multiple pairs to stitch it up a little bit. It is crucial that you get sweats that you can also dress up. Yes, you want to be lounging in your sweats in your dorm, whatever, going to the dining hall. Get some good fitting pairs that you can wear with an outfit with some like sneakers and a trench coat and it'll go a long way. You do not need that many jeans. When I was in college, most of my collection of pants was jeans. I didn't really discover the art of trousers until I started thrifting in college. But you don't need that many, just bring your favorite pairs, otherwise you're not gonna wear it. That's another thing, only bring the things that you wear a lot because if you didn't wear it at home, you're not gonna wear it in college, okay? It's still the same you. If anything, you're gonna change even more. Just bring the stuff that you wear a lot and you know looks good on you and you know you can wear with a lot of stuff. Another thing you should bring are some cargo pants. Cargo pants and parachute pants just because they're so great street style wise. Like it's definitely a good look to be walking around campus in them like you're fitted all the time. I have so many cargos. Let me pull out just a few of them so I can show you. I have these ones. These are the Lioness cargos that I own in three colors. They're super cute. If you watch any of my outfit ideas videos, usually make an appearance. I have these from Amazon, which I cannot recommend more. Like I've had so many people buy it off my recommendation. They all love it. They all say it fits amazing. They are in the men's department. Make sure you know your size. If you're a little bit shorter, they tell you the length of it also, which is amazing. And it makes your butt look really good in a way that doesn't look like you're trying to make your butt look good. I pulled out my dickies that I also got from Amazon because these I think would be a great pair to bring to school. Durable. They look great. They're high-waisted. They're a good pair to have. My parachute pants are from Urban Outfitters, but you can also get them off Amazon. I found a listing on Amazon with some cute parachute pants, so that'll be linked below as well. Another thing that you definitely for sure should bring, wet shorts. For sure, bring them. I'm literally wearing them right now. I'm more of a sweatshorts than sweatpants kind of girl. It's just easier to put on, plus I'm more comfortable in them. Keep in mind, like a lot of dorms do not have heat slash AC control. Like it will get toasty in there sometimes. Mine luckily did because it was freezing all the time. Some of them don't have them. I'm so excited to do my college dorm essentials video because I bought so much desk organization, things that you need that you don't think you need, like at home waxing, cute fans, like all this stuff, and I'm just so excited. Sweatshorts you can also wear out with like a sweatshirt and look super cute in a very relaxed way. All of mine are from White Fox because I just love the fit of them. A lot of brands do them. Look around for some sweatshorts. Make sure they're a little bit thicker because they usually look better and hang better on your body. Bike shorts are also a really good one to have. Okay, for shoes. So here's the thing about shoes, guys. It's difficult. But I've narrowed it down to the things you need. I cannot emphasize enough how important comfortable shoes are. I mean, I was lucky because I didn't really understand shoes at that time. So I just had like three pairs of shoes and they were all pretty comfortable. And then I had one pair of boots that had a heel on it that I honestly didn't wear that much because it wasn't that comfortable. I have these gray sneakers that were just sent to me by the brand Vivaya. They're an awesome brand. They're all about sustainability and comfort. They make their shoes out of recycled plastic bottles. These are the Evermore sneaker. It's like knitted, it's super breathable, really, really comfortable. These are just a great pair of shoes to be walking around in because I'm gonna tell you, I got a lot of steps in when I was in college. Now, not so much. I checked the health out the other day. I walked 89 steps one day. These shoes also have an eco-friendly deodorizing insole and they're machine washable, which is so important, guys. You need machine washable shoes in college. They're gonna get disgusting. I don't know how it happens, but your shoes get gross and you wanna be able to machine wash them. So these are great. They're super lightweight and breathable. For the outfits that you can make a little more relaxed, casual, cute, like the bike shorts, the sweats with the trench. These shoes fit perfectly to those outfits. You always need a nice white sneaker. Another sneaker that you do need, look how disgusting these are. I just wore these uh, camping, but you need a pair of beaters. That means a pair of shoes that you're okay at getting dirty. You're okay at getting drinks spilled on. You're okay getting slushy snow on. The Vivaya ones would be great beaters just because they're like a nondescript shoe that is machine washable. My Adidas are also great. These are like 60 bucks on Amazon. I don't feel bad if they get dirty, but also I just throw them in the washer and they're totally fine. A lot of people be wearing Air Force Ones as their beaters. That's a tad too college girl for me. Converse, Vans, oh my God. I wear my Vans all the time. Oh, they're not here. I wear my Vans all the time, not only to the gym, but also just like in outfits. 
Those are a great pair and they're cheap also. Basically, you don't really want to bring too many nice pairs of shoes. That being said, bringing a couple of great sneakers for fits is a good idea. Every time we went out to like dinner or like went out to do something cute, the outfits were not hitting. It was not a cute look for me because what I had was stuff to wear around campus, to school, whatever. Like I wasn't trying too much with the outfit. Make sure you plan for nice outfits as well. I'm more of a fan of like cute sneakers and like platform sandals for this type of thing. So these. These are my little Reeboks Club 2s and I love these. These were not that expensive. These were $75. I linked them below. I'm not sure they're sold out. If they are and you happen to be a size 9 in women's, I accidentally bought the wrong size because these are men's size. So I bought a men's 7.5 which is a 9 in women and I couldn't return them. If that happens to be your size, head over to my Depop. I'm selling it for a discounted price. <laughs> Another thing I didn't really think of when I went into college was bringing dressier shoes for meeting with like professors or for formal events. Definitely make sure you have that just in case it comes up, but also if you just want to like look a little bit nicer that day, you know, sip on some mules. I recommend getting a pair of chunky Oxfords just because they go with so much. You can definitely dress it up and dress it down. If you watch any of my style videos, I've worn them like with dresses, with like socks and stuff, with biker shorts. I've also worn them with pants covering them so they look like a chunky boot. They're just really comfortable. I'll link below the ones that I have and also some other options. Mine were from this website called Cotty Book, which like not a lot of you have heard of. So if you're like shopping on a different website, I got you. I'll give you some options. Mules, these are also from Vivaya. These are fuzzy. These are great because you feel like you're just walking in house slippers, but they're actually like little mules. And it looks really cute with like some trousers, jeans and stuff like that. I remember this one girl in my singing glass would wear mules with some high-waisted jeans. I just always used to think that she looks so good. Vivaya also sent me a pair of flats. These, look at these. Lightweight, breathable. These are made out of hemp. They're super sustainable. These also are deodorizing, so you're not going to get like smelly feet or anything. Great for meeting with professors, showing up a little bit more put together or if you're like trying to get research job opportunities, make sure, just make sure you have a pair of those. On the dressier side of things, you also want to have a pair of heels. Reasons you need them. Personally, I wish I had heels because I had to buy a few when I was in college. I was like part of this club. We did fashion shows, dark time in my life. I needed heels for those and I didn't have them and I had to buy them. You don't think about it, you need them. I just want to recommend my favorite pairs of heels to you. These are from these are from ASOS. I just wore these in my most recent outfit idea video if you want to go check that out, see how I style them. You can definitely dress these down as well if you're going to any formal. Like I know my little sister had like a business club formal and she was like, I don't have heels, I need heels and I need dresses. These ones are also from ASOS. These are both the most comfortable heels I've ever worn so I'm showing them to you right now. They're good ones to have in your arsenary. I would just go with black and a tan. I feel like that goes with most stuff. Sorry guys, we had to relocate because the light was just getting to be a lot. Another pair of shoes that I think you should bring are some combat boots. They go with everything. These are from Shein. I've had these for like four, three years. They are still great. I don't feel bad about knocking them up or whatever, and they are super comfortable. I wear them all the time. You can wear them with anything, honestly. These are great with dresses also, if you wanna make it a little bit less dressy. But I highly recommend these for college campuses. Obviously, you're also gonna need some slides, like shower shoes, whatever, but also to just wear around the dorms. I'd say 70% of the time that I was in college, I was wearing slides because you're eating in the dining halls, you're not gonna put on real shoes, you're like, you wanna go visit your friends in their dorms, you're not gonna put on real shoes. Even if you go outside, you might not put on real shoes. Make sure you have a pair of slides that you like. These, I forget where I got them from, I think Amazon, super cheap but I wear them with everything, they're very comfortable. I still wore Sanooks a lot in college. They're just comfy and I just loved wearing them. I wore them all the time, even in the winter, like with socks and some leggings. And then for bags, I think one of the top things you can add to your collection are totes. I actually just washed all my totes because I wear them so much that they were getting disgusting. This I got as a swag bag from an event, but this is from Princess Polly. I'm not sure if they sell it online. They might, they might. If they do, I'll link it below. This one I wear a lot, it's nice and big. I wear this one for the fits because it's like smaller and super cute. Personally, I would be able to bring all my stuff around in totes. I never bought textbooks, like the physical textbook I never bought. If anything, I had one online. Did I use it? Probably not. I could carry all my stuff in totes, like just my laptop, a notebook, chargers, water, maybe some food. That's all I really need and I would recommend a tote as your backpack. But if you do bring along a lot more stuff, obviously get a nice backpack. For going out, like I said, if you want to like be fitted at some point in time in your college career, make sure you bring a couple of your favorite purses. Don't go overboard though, okay? Just bring a few basic staples. I would say these are my top 
purses. I wear this one a ton. It goes with everything. Um, I wear this one a ton also. It goes with like lighter outfits, more earthy tone outfits. And then this sling bag from Amazon. This is also real leather, by the way, guys. And it was like 30 bucks. Caps and bucket hats go a long way. They really dress up an outfit. Um, if you have a bad hair day, you can't be bothered to wash your hair. Or you just had a rough night. You need a cap or a bucket hat in your closet. Just a mask, all of that, you know? The last category that I have for you is jackets. Definitely bring a trench. And if you're like hotter weather, you're gonna need a trench at some point. Like just a lightweight trench. My favorite ones are from Princess Polly. They're great pieces. They go over so much. They're like functional, but they also look really cute. Another thing, you need a raincoat. Don't forget a rain umbrella. Obviously, it's for the rain. Don't forget an umbrella. I literally didn't have one, and every time it would rain, I'd be like, oh, okay, this is what we're doing now. So make sure you have a raincoat, just in case it rains. You should 100% have a denim jacket. I just got this one from Urban Outfitters. Kind of cropped, but it's oversized. It's super cute. Literally, I wore my denim jacket all the time in college. Like, that was the jacket I just threw on. I think I had a cute Calvin Klein one, but, like, it didn't really fit me the best. Make sure you get one that you really like because it is one that you'll wear all the time. Looks like your trousers, even if you're just wearing like leggings, you know, it looks good. Definitely make sure you bring a denim jacket. Also, make sure you bring a leather jacket. This could be your raincoat if it has like a hood or something. Dress up, dress down. This is great for going out to parties because it's repellent. So whatever gets on it, you can just wipe off the day later. This one's from Princess Polly. It's a nice oversized one. Leather jackets, 100%. Leather blazers also a good option if you're like, you like a more fitted put together look. Blazers in general, you can make a really cute casual look with that. But also you can use it for like more professional settings like if you're meeting with your professors. Don't forget to bring a couple of your favorite. So those will take you very far in college, but if you want to add a couple more jackets to your closet, I would recommend a varsity jacket. Like not a varsity varsity jacket, but just with cool prints and like patches on it. I think those are so cute. I just bought one for my back to school haul. So that'll be coming soon. And then last but not least, make sure you have your sweatshirts, baby. That is what you're probably gonna be wearing 90% of the time. And that's fine because sweatshirts nowadays are so cute. My favorite one, my favorite one is this emerald green one. Say you're already moved in, don't freak out. Like you can just go thrifting. They have so many of these things that you would wear all the time. For example, I thrifted this champion sweatshirt when I was in college. It was five bucks from Goodwill. Best purchase, I think, from a thrift store ever. Really great oversized fit. And then also this Nike one I thrifted recently. Get yourself some nice, cute, oversized sweatshirts that you like because you'll be wearing them all the time. That's all that I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope that you have a list for your closet essentials now. There's a bunch of stuff I didn't really mention that I figured was self-explanatory or I wouldn't say it's essential, essential. If you guys have any ideas that I didn't mention, make sure you comment them below for everybody else you know we are a little community here we want to help everybody grow and thrive i hope you guys have the best back to school i hope you're excited remember to live in the moment you never get these years back once you graduate things change okay so enjoy time with your friends make smart decisions or even if they're dumb Make sure you got a good story from them. I like how I'm saying this as if like this is my last back to school video. There's gonna be so many more. There's like at least three more coming. Stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I will see you in a later video. Bye!